All right, guys, I am back on Talbot Lake. Uh, I was here almost a year ago. Uh, check that video, got tons of pike, mostly small stuff, but lots of pike. And uh, I'm back again and doing the same trick again. I've got business up north, so drove five hours and then fished for a couple and then drive another five. So today, I'd like to get into something bigger. I always say that, but over 30 inches or something like that. So I'm gonna try something a little different just so I don't make the same video again. I'm gonna try getting out deeper if there is a deeper in this lake and get out uh, farther into the lake and start there. So big long paddle right now. Work our way back and see what happens. All right, let's go. So far I haven't found anything deep. Maybe there is no deep on this lake. I couldn't find any charts or anything. Maybe this is it. Eight feet maybe. Okay, well the good news is I got some exercise. Bad news is I wasted 45 minutes of fishing time. But I went, I looked. Now I know that I got a new toy. Shimano Corrado DC. It's, uh, it's digital braking on this thing. So it's got a little microchip in it. And I've never casted it, I've never used it. Uh, and the little microchip, I don't know if it detects the line or the spool speed and then applies the brakes appropriately. And it's supposedly virtually backlash free, but I'm sure I can figure out a way. So I just gotta figure out how to set this thing. Got, uh, on this one I've got a uh, 50 pound braid, but the same 30 pound fluoro leader. I can't bring myself to use steel for some reason. Uh, it just doesn't look natural. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're not as easy as they going on. Where are they? You pike. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm going on a sleigh ride. He's got me wrapped around here. Is that a big pike? He's not that big. Man, has he got me on there. Man, he's not that big at all. Good move there though, buddy. Good move. Nice technique. <laughs> Made it a battle. Uh, I don't know what that is. Under 20. Okay, ice is broken. That's what's going on right there. Swim bait with a flashy thing. in there. Oh, here comes one, chasing me.
Oh, that was a good bike. Right there. I can get him. I can get him over here. I'm gonna go more with a black and white and slightly smaller. That guy followed me up, but wouldn't commit to it. Definitely gotta work harder today <laughs> than last time I was here. But that's okay. I don't mind that satisfying when you get them. Oh, I got Chase here now. He's following. Oh, he veered away. Oh! <laughs> that guy smoked it right beside the boat. Didn't knock him again. There he is. I got him this time. Nope, I lost him. Yeah, I got a hook in him. Take that. Oh, not bad either. Yeah, it's all right. He looks bigger. See you, dude. All right, that was cool. There we go. Little guy. Very little guy. Oh, see ya. Hmm. Oh, look what I did. I backlashed the unbacklashable reel. Here, but it is shallow. Holy smokes. You know what? Let's try this. So I seem to find a spot with lots of small pike. I wasn't hooking them with the swim bait, so let's see if we can hook them up with the spinner bait. <laughs> yep, there he is. First cast. Okay, let's get out of here. It's not very big, but I hooked him. All right, spinnerbait. White spinnerbait. That's the lure ever made. Did I mention that? First cast. Oh, Ooh, that one was slightly larger. Okay, I think uh, I'm gonna start heading back and uh, use a spinner bait and see if we can't coax some of those. Coax? Yeah. Coax some of those other pike that weren't uh, committing to the swim bait. Because these guys had no issues with the spinner bait. This isn't where the uh, larger ones were yet, but there were fish here that we lost. There he is. Yep. Oh. <laughs> he is energetic right beside the boat. I'm rolling in my line. Come on the other side. Okay. Guess we'll do this side. Hello, Ben. All right. Not huge, but. One of the ones that we revisited. Yeah, no problem going up the spinner babe. Oh, yeah, 
filter. Meh. Meh. Same old size. Good, aggressive pipe though. that we needed to but I think he's gonna be just yep just fine there's two fish two casts so and there's a third fish third cast <laughs> the same size again three for three that shot again see you dude oh now we got to be careful can we go four for four yeah right there okay i strategically placed myself in the juiciest spot to get four fish in four cow uh oh i went wide <laughs> my bogey went stupid might be tough to get four for four Uh, Talbot Lake Part 2. Like I said in the last video, there's a ton of pike here. Um, and I uh, failed on a big fish mission because I don't really know where to look. I don't know where to target them. So, But it's fun. If you're coming and looking for lots of pike, uh, go for the visible structure because that's where they are. Okay. Till next time. See ya.